it was the worst year for a lot of us for our mental as well as physical health. So joining us this morning is best-selling author, coach, and fitness expert, Lisa Goldenthal. Thanks for coming to the Power Up Your Pivot 100 podcast series. Get ready to feel unstoppable, energized, resilient, unshakable, and unbreakable. Live your best life. We've all been knocked to our knees. Learn how to bounce back better, body, mind, and soul. Overcome the COVID curves and anxiety and live your best life. So that you can be unstoppable, resilient, and have more energy. Set yourself up for the win. She's a serial entrepreneur in the workforce management industry. She took her experience and passion for diversity and inclusion, founded Mom Relaunch. Her program nurtures and mentors candidates while opening career avenues for them. She has released the highly anticipated book, Career Interrupted, for anyone who's been undervalued at work, laid off, furloughed, hit a career rut, or struggled to re-enter the workforce, Rina Gupta. And as a special guest, she wants to inspire anyone and everyone to know that work-life harmony is within their reach. And also we have an excellent screenwriter, blogger and author whose work has been featured in the LA Times, Splitopia and Medium, Career Interrupted is her second book, and she is my sister, Rebecca Cullen. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> the reason we have written that book is we want people to know that it's possible, right? <laughs> and the, Thank you. I'm so happy to hear that. <laughs> yeah. But at the same time, we want everyone to feel that it's not possible every day. There are days then it will not be in balance. We just talked about this. And the yes. important thing is to be aware that awareness is so important that when people lose that awareness is when they start to see the drift and they don't even realize it. So having that understanding that I can achieve it, it's within my reach is important. And the days it's not possible, you have to let go of, give yourself that permission to make that not possible for every day with nobody's perfect. Right. So as of now, what we have done is we have created a framework in that book. And that framework is what keeps you accountable. OK, uh, it's very easy to get lose that focus, that focus. Once it's lost, then you feel like suddenly you wake up and say, oops, my one of my table stool is about to fall. And um, the three legged stool analogy that we are talking about for bringing the work-life harmony depends on your own career and finances, which is important, uh, your family and friends, which is equally important. And I personally think your wellness is the top most priority. So Absolutely. First, first bring that into picture. If you're well, everything can be possible. And your wellness, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally, we have created a tool called body mind and soul rating so always keep that in check always keep testing where you are what what is your rating some days it will be high some days it will be low but it's okay it's okay as long as you know where you want to be so Rebecca you want to add anything yeah it's also that thing of you know putting your mask on first you know and it's like if your life is in service to everyone else you're a mom your wife this whatever it is you're a husband you're working but if you neglect your health, it's like you really can't be of service to anybody in your life because you're not, you're just not, you've got no gas in your tank, your battery's on empty, and you're not really going to be of use to yourself or anyone else, which is why we resonated so much with what Lisa was saying. And we wanted to interview her for our book to talk about you, you have to get up if you're sitting all day long. Like she, she said, sitting is a new smoking. And it's like, we really, that resonated with us too, because we're sitting there writing this book. And yeah, you have to remind yourself when you're working eight hour blocks to get up off your butt, get out of the house, drink more water. And if you incorporate these things into your life, 
yeah, you can be unstoppable, but if you neglect your health, everything stops. Exactly. Well, I love that stopping where you are stopped for being unstoppable and some of the tips that I gave you guys on wellness. And I want to talk about something. There's a few things I really loved hearing about that are in your book about the chart that you have, because we were talking off camera a little bit about admitting that it's okay sometimes to not be balanced and just to awareness is step one that you're out of balance and allowing yourself to have some grace. So mm -hmm. do you want to talk more about the chart and how people can get this book and find out where are they in this work life harmony and just not feel bad, but just have actual roadmap of how to get there with your framework. Sure. So, you know, the book that I have written, it's a, uh, it's a result of all the stuff that I learned being an entrepreneur, being a mom, being a person who's trying to balance and bring several things and try to juggle things at, at once. And having a framework and a, and a process, whether it is I'm running my company, whether I'm running my birthday parties for my kids or my myself or <laughs> anything that I do or traveling my plan, there has to be a structure. Yes. Uh, not that I need everything in there, but it has to be what I'm trying to do and the most important why. Right. And that's what I'm trying to bring in into this book and having a reason behind it, having the fact that you have something to achieve, right? You, even if you write a single piece of goal and you put it on your uh, wall and you're looking at it every day, that itself changes your mindset. Right, that oh, I have to achieve that. I have to achieve that. And this book, what has done to us, especially when I'm, we were talking to somebody, even when talking to you, and you talked about intermittent fasting, and we started yeah. talking about it just a few minutes back. We were, are you doing it? Right. So it just completely reinforces it, and we have taken that human psychology of write it down what you want, have a framework that you can follow. And then stick it on the wall, which we call as the one page document. And when you're looking at it every day, you're getting reminded. And then even if you're not doing it, it gives you a reminder consciously or unconsciously where you can always come back to. So that process that I learned being an entrepreneur, I'm literally trying to apply on a person's work life strategy. And that there is a way to achieve everything. So think again, work-life harmony is your goal. If you need to achieve that, you really need to have a strategy, a plan, and how do you will get there? And that's how what, what our uh, book has uh, is teaching here. Uh, that he points to, but we learned a lot about happiness and we try to create, you know, like a happiness scale for our readers to sort of check in with like, where are you in terms of like, how you feel about your day? How do you feel about your week? How do you feel about your goals? And not to be hard on yourself, but just to have these check-in kind of things in the book. So we really have a lot of accountability and we really like introduce a lot of like the whole, you know, work-life canvas where you come out at the end with a blueprint and a whole like work-life canvas, which is amazing. So it's just yeah. really actionable. Actionable is what I'm all about. I want to give people a couple of action steps straight from the book. I love the part about there is no failure and learning instead of failure. I heard you speak about that in the yep. book too. Um, do you want to address that? Yeah. Um, long time back, I decided one time that if I continue to have success, I need to replace the term failure and I replace it with the term called learning. So anytime I don't have what I really wanted to have, I said, okay, what did I learn from that? And that's something that I teach my kids. And it has changed the way they bounce back. We all bounce back. If you think about that was a failure, it will never, you won't get the energy to get back. Okay. So, and also create a scale for understanding ourselves, right? So instead of waiting for others to go back every day, I should be able to go back and say, what did I learn today? I'm a big believer of lifelong learner. Um, so having all those things in place goes back to the having the right mindset. And 
failure in my term in my mind is a such a negative term and i don't want have to have any place of for negativity in my life so anything that is having a negative vibration i try to find a positive side of it and i just replace it and the whole dynamics changes so that's kind of why i use some of those terms in my mind first and i said no nope. i love and, that <laughs> thank you thank Because you so some of the most important people that i i've read about historically all talk about their failures i know you don't like that word but i mean it's part of business it's just yeah. they'll talk about failing forward and how learning from failure and i didn't mean to interrupt you but this mm-hmm. just is such a powerful thing when we've all been through so much before the mm-hmm. pandemic during the pandemic post the pandemic and um what exactly are your three legged stool parts so our three legged stools are career and finance is like career how you're making your livelihood <laughs> and is it valued and all that the second is your family and friends uh, which is what gives you all those uh, the fun moments that we talked about the food oh, yeah. the network uh, we are all human beings we are all social animals what we call it and we need that reinforcement and we need to be surrounded by people who are supportive we need to be keep, and even if there are people who are not supportive how do you create a shield around you that that negativity doesn't come to you that is i uh, i call myself as like uh, that's my superpower the days i feel bad i just say where's my shield i need that and i put it on and then that's Girl, it. i and love that's, it yeah. and i also love the um part of the ecosystem that can make you unstoppable that you guys talk about in the book too about about building upon your strengths do you want to yes. um, address Absolutely. that as our final topic yeah sure and the just to wrap up that discussion the third one is our wellness which we have talked about a lot oh, my so, favorite one <laughs> <laughs> and uh, back to your question about the term eco- ecosystem so the term ecosystem uh, i call it as something that is beyond beyond you as a person okay but you are part of it okay so for me in my the, where i learned about ecosystem is my in my professional world when i was running my own companies and i became part of salesforce ecosystem and i saw that even i call myself as a single solo bootstrap entrepreneur i never felt alone because i had the support i had the platform i had the technology i had the people everyone and anyone who would be able to come and support if i have in, get into problems so i never felt alone and i always looked bigger because we have the support of such a billion dollar company and uh, wow. that was so that that part the term being part of an ecosystem doesn't feel you feel that you are on your own and you are learning from others you are seeing what others are doing and that brings in so much wisdom and knowledge to you that you can improve on your own so that the ecosystem there's a whole chapter on that book uh, on our book um, about find your professional ecosystem not many people think about it it's like this i have to find a job no it's not a job you have to know where you're going to thrive and where you're going to thrive is where you have a supportive community and that is whether it is your people your product your environment wherever it is you are going to be able to be successful only if you can find that ecosystem Yeah. And I I can add on to that too, with um, just returning, trying to return from the workforce after having taken such sort of a giant step out raising children. And, you know, I was able to utilize Upwork, which is like one example of an ecosystem where you have employers, you have employees, you have a whole pay structure system. You are able to build up your profile and you know, your percentage, it's kind of like on eBay when you get rated and then you're like at a hundred percent and someone knows that you're trustworthy. So things like that and medium are amazing. And that's another example of an ecosystem that I've been swimming in. And it's like publishers, you have different publishers within medium, you have people that are your followers and you have writers and you have readers, and it's just a community of a way to get yourself out there a way to build up your online sort of your your personal brand and it's just it's a great thing if you oh, can thank you. find those avenues you know to support you yeah linkedin and, is my mm-hmm. favorite favorite one um and do you guys um want to recap that's how we met that, that's how we came together rena yeah. found me 
is how I meet some of the most amazing people. I just think it's the best ecosystem. But um, I know we have such a short podcast. Is there any recap that you guys want to tie this all up with? And where can people find you? Sure. I mean, they can find us on careerinterrupted.net. Uh, and we also have our personal website, which is just uh, there. But I think it, it will be great to go to careerinterrupted.net or even my com- other company, momrelaunch.com. I have my website, reenagupta.com. Uh, so multiple places. But uh, again, if you'd like to read about the book as well as buy it, um, work- sign up for workshops. Um, that's all available on careerinterrupted.net. And Rebecca? Yeah, I would echo that. You definitely need to pick up a copy of this book. It's really, uh, we really feel like we created a very highly personalized, deep dive career guide. It's really not your kind of cookie cutter thing at all. It's it's going to be worth your while. And uh, so that's careerinterrupted.net. And then I'm at RebeccaCullenWriter.com. Well, thank you, Rena and Rebecca. This is such a pleasure to actually sit down and talk to you and be a part of your book and the launch, Career Interrupted. You guys, go get it. Thank Thank you you so much. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks for coming to the Power to Pivot 100th podcast launch whole CEO with Lisa G. After over 20 years helping people lose weight and get fit, I'm excited to announce I have found the missing link. Message me if you want to learn how to look better, feel better, and go faster with a master. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and review the podcast and share it with your friends.